Alright guys, this video is for the Zodiac Shield in Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video again is because of the fact that it is... The original was a little bit too long and a lot of people were complaining that it's just too long and I'm not getting to the point. I am sorry if I didn't. Please forgive me because the fact that I explained a couple things that did kind of rumble off a bit. So this time I'm going to try to get to the point and be quick about it. And um, I'm going to try to get it under 10 minutes if I can. So. Another thing I would like to address as well is the fact that in the original there was a point where someone pointed it out for me that I may have sounded kind of like an asshole to people and um, I'm sorry if it, if it did because I didn't really mean it to be that way it just kind of came out that way because I think it might have came from a uh, certain viewer that I was uh, having a conversation with and um, he wanted me to show him from how to get to from point A to point B like literally in the video and um, to show him as to how to get there literally by moving my character towards the areas that he wanted to see and I'm like there's really too much time wasted for that so I kind of got annoyed because he kept on harassing me about it and uh, and I think I kind of probably may have taken it out on you guys I guess un sub subconsciously without me even knowing about it and realizing it that I did and I'm sorry if I offended anybody because didn't really mean it to come out that way but it kind of did for some odd reason when I kind of you know went and listened to it so I'm sorry if it did all right guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get through this real quickly so the first things in order to prepare this you would need to have finished the viral hunt the ascetic door gimmick in Sochin Cape Palace and be in the hellworm in that very same room to where we're gonna go to get the chest to spawn and also to get the actual item itself from there so after you beat the Hellworm, you're going to also need to go get the actual three one-time chests within that area as well. Which, those three don't have the Zodiac shield, so you shouldn't have to worry. Because that's pretty much all you needed to do to get that set up and ready to go. So, first things first, I'm going to show you guys where that chest is first. So, here we go. So, this is where the chest is going to be, literally. And also right here is the exact location on the map and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit on how to get to it just because some people might really want to know because they may be confused as to knowing where to go because they don't know where so if you haven't gotten to this point yet uh try to get through as quickly as possible because this is pretty much near the end of the game so without further ado let's go so you want to start from here first the entrance to our old arcades and move your way down to here and then to here and then to here then to here to where you want to go to the very left part of this map to get to the invisible path to get to that door where you'll fight the hellworm and get this all started so once you have this all started and everything you pretty much now have a autosave file for this particular area so once you do you can pretty much now quit the game literally close it don't quit the title close it once you do you'll reset the rng again like how it is with the satan grab video so and here once you do, you're going to get your rec save file. And if you guys don't know what that is, you might want to go watch my Satan God video that talks about how to put it all together. And then pretty much once you do, you're just pretty much going to load up the file and begin the Rex cure save method. To which I will have to uh, say shout outs to LGP for you know giving us this little method by finding the numbers. And another thing as well is by the guys who created the RNG app. I think it was um, Yokai who created it. So kudos to the guy and also to Kanya who kind of helped. It made it easier to understand the, what those numbers means and wh what they do. So, and uh, pretty much once you are here now, right, you can pretty much now load that rec save file and begin there and start curing yourself. Let me see here. Where the hell is my file? I have no clue which one it is. We're going to go with this one. All right. So now, if you guys knew about the Rex method, that's great. If you guys don't, feel free to go watch the movie now, the video now before it's too late. Or better yet, just watch it now and then come back here. So all right. So once you load in, you're going to be looking for a sequence of numbers when you're curing. And uh, the numbers you're looking for is the Satan Grotten number curing sequence, I think, which is the 88, 97, 90. But instead of... Going for the 90 at the end, you're going to go for a 92, okay? So, 
And uh, there is also another sequence you might want to look out for, which the, is the other Sittingrad number as well, which is 90, 97, 94, 95. But instead of the 95, you're looking for a 93. So, but what I'm going to do in here in this video is going to be the 88, 97, 90 method. So, let's go ahead and quickly do this real quick. So, I'm sorry for talking a little bit too much here, but uh, we're going to get this through as quickly as possible. So, let's look for that 88 real quickly here. And hopefully, we get the 97 and 90 and 92 after it. So, do not worry about going to the safe crystal. As always, you can... It doesn't change your position whatsoever, so don't worry too much. Just care like you always have care for the rest of your life, like it's gonna be over. That's pretty much it. So if I'm you, do not worry. We will get there eventually. Okay, I got a 97, but it's not by... It's not after a 98. Or an 88, I mean. So, yeah. Even that 98 ain't gonna cut it. So that sequence right there came a little bit too early because it's not the right one. So you want to make sure you get the one that's after an 88. Okay, come on. Give me my sequence, man. So, and another thing I got to say, this, this is only doable on the PS4. So if you're trying to do this on PC, it's not going to work. Because the PC uses a different algorithm for some odd reason. So even the Satan Grant method on the PC or on the PS4 does not work on the PC version of the game so don't even think about trying it as it is not gonna help so there's our 88 let's see if we have a 97 yeah there it is all right and then we gotta have a 90 there you go and then here's our 92 so once you have your 92 you're pretty much gonna go quit the title don't quit the game okay don't screw this up because if you do you're not gonna get it and you're gonna have to start all over again so now you pretty much gonna go ahead and load your autosave at the Hall of the Wrath God, right? So, let's give it a moment. It's gonna take some time. <sighs> okay. Come on. There we go. Loading complete. Although, it's still gonna have to take some time to load, too, so. Alright. There we are. Now, you pretty much wanna walk back over here, and here's your chest. And, uh, once you open it, there's your Zodiac shield that we all been hoping to get. The only problem about this th this part is that you only get this shield once from this chest. And you can only get this chest once because it's a one-time chest. But you can get the shield again, but with the Zodiac Spear. But you can only obtain it that particular way as a set together from a side quest known as the uh, the Trophy Hunt quest. So it's a rare Trophy Hunt quest where you technically um, go kill rare games and pretty much take their trophies and give them to the Banga brothers there to in order to get the Zodiac shield. But I would digress to say do not get the Zodiac shield that way or the spear that way because you would be missing out on the Genji gauntlet that is very powerful to come with. So I would recommend go for that instead because it is a lot better than the shield because in this game there is a better shield than the Zodiac spear. Or not spear, I mean shield. So that shield will always outbeat this sh shield. So I recommend it that you just get one of these and just go grab the uh, Gendarme, which is really powerful. So once again, try to replicate this if you can. And uh, don't worry if you can't get it on your first try. You, there are still other numbers you can look for. So and uh, all of this, these steps here that I just explained earlier are going to be written down in the description down below. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the time on getting this to see this video at a shorter amount of time and also have fun playing Final Fantasy 12 Zodiac Age, all right? Because it is one hell of a game. So until then guys, see you guys later. All right?